Hey guys, this is David Skin King here from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about something I call your, the acne environment. Now, throughout all my videos, my, my on-screen videos where I'm teaching, you know, on my screen, to the videos where it's actually me talking to you like this, the lesson behind all these videos, one of the biggest lessons you can learn from all these, is to understand your acne, the acne environment. Now, in your body, certain cells can grow and die under certain conditions. What I mean by that is, for example, let's say you have some sort of disease. That cell can only, it can grow or it can die based on what it's fed and what it's given. So, um, you know, if, for example, if I ate, you know, McDonald's and drank soda and ate ice cream and, and Debbie cakes every single day, I'd probably die really, really, really soon especially considering that one guy at McDonald's for 30 days and he had some major health problems after that. So if I did that along with the other junk food and snacks, I might die in six months, doing that straight for six months. Uh, the reason being is because my cells, the cells in my body, uh, they don't grow under those conditions. The things I'm feeding my body, is, is it's killing my cells instead of allowing them to grow and further grow. With acne, your, the, the cells, your skin cells, can either grow or die based on what you're feeding them and what you're giving them. So the environment of your cells, what's around your cells, affects how the cell is. If the cell's healthy, if it's dying, if it's growing, if it's a toxic cell, or if it's a healthy, nutritious cell, it affects the environment of the cell. So what you're putting into your body, what you're putting into your environment, whether internally by ingesting, whether it's liquid, you know, drink, uh, food, whatever, or whatever you're putting on your skin, which is your cell environment, it's just coming from you know this area, your, your external uh, environment. Whatever is coming into contact with your skin cells, with your skin environment, and with your cellular environment, is either hurting or helping your acne. Okay? There's no in between. There's no oh, it's okay. It really, you know, it's either hurting your ac It's either hurting your skin and your health, and it's causing more acne or it's helping your skin and your skin health and it's helping you have clear skin. It's one of the two. There's no, well, this is okay and it's not good or bad. It's just, it's either one of the two. It's, it's helping your acne or hurting your acne. Now, what, what my videos are teaching, what I teach, especially more, a lot more in depth in the Acne Racing Secrets e-course at AcneRacingSecrets.com, is to give your body and your skin cells an environment that supports healthy skin and skin that is acne free. Now, when you have acne, your body is too acidic, meaning that you're eating too many acidic foods, too many toxic foods, too many processed sugars, too many things that cause your body to be more acidic. Now, when your body's more alkaline, meaning you're getting more fruits, vegetables, uh, you're drinking more water instead of soda, uh, and when your body's more alkaline, the skin cell environment, the environment of your body, this is throughout your whole body, but the, specifically, we're talking about your skin cell environment. The environment of your skin cells actually changes and that's when your acne starts to disappear because acne cannot live in an alkaline environment. Acne cannot live in an alkaline, healthy, supportive environment. It lives in an acidic environment. That's the environment of the acne itself. The, the, the cellular environment of the acne is acidic, meaning all those things you feed your body that's junk, that's toxic chemicals, whether they're putting in your body or putting in your skin from, you know, chemicals that you're putting on your skin, that causes the skin cell environment to be more toxic and acidic, and that's what causes more acne. But when you switch over to an environment that's supportive of clear skin, with health, nutrition, both internally putting in your body and externally putting on your skin, there, there no longer is an acne environment. The environment doesn't support the acne, the environment supports healthy new skin cells, which brings about clear and healthy acne-free skin, okay? So what you need to understand is that you're either feeding your acne environment or you're feeding your clear skin environment. Now, one of the biggest things that I have learned is to stop feeding the acne environment with acidic junk foods and start feeding it with uh, uh, healthy foods and healthy drinks and, and healthy moisturizers, th is moisturizers and things you're putting on your skin. Now, there's two ways to do this. There's internal and external, what you're putting in your body and what you're putting on your skin. Because whatever is coming into contact with your body, whether it's oxygen, water, liquids, foods, face washes, shampoos, 
toothpaste, deodorants, anything that comes in contact with your cellular environment, your, it comes in, into contact with your skin cell environment as well because your skin is the, the organ that uh, protects the rest of your internal organs. It's your external organ, if you will. So what you want to do is get rid of the bad stuff that's causing your acne and give your body the good stuff that helps your body with clear skin, give your body clear skin really. So that's two things you want to do and there's two ways to do both of those things. There's internally and externally. So internally you want to give your body things that's good and uh, internally you want to stop giving your body the things that are causing acne and then externally you want to stop putting junk on your skin that causes acne and externally you want to put things on your skin that cause clear skin and cause healthy skin. So I know I'm getting a little complex in this video, I'm getting a little bit into detail, but it comes down to giving your body and your skin an alkaline, nutritious, beneficial environment that produces new, clear, healthy skin cells. Instead of what you're currently doing, giving your skin acidic, toxic, chemical, laced products and potions and lotions and things you're putting on your skin and your body. So basically what I'm teaching through all of Acne Racing Secrets, through the, through the, through the e-course at the website, through my channel, with all these videos, is to give your body and your skin cells a healthy environment. Because when you're, when you're giving your body health and nutrition, both internally and externally, acne cannot survive in this environment. Acne has to disappear because acne can only live in an acidic, toxic environment. But when your skin is alkaline and healthy, and your body is too, your acne, it, it cannot live in that environment. It's like, it's, like, uh, it's, like, it's like someone that's perfectly healthy having cancer. It's, it's impossible. Someone that's perfectly healthy, can, cancer cannot live in an alkaline, healthy body. Cancer cannot live in this body because cancer only lives in an acidic, toxic environment and that's what allows it to spread and grow. Same with your acne. It spreads and grows in a toxic, acidic environment. But when you give your body alkalinity and health, your acne disappears and your acne shrinks and goes away. And now near, new, clear skin cells are formed instead of uh, an old environment that was acne prone, that's toxic, where it can easily grow and spread. Now, new, skin, clear, healthy skin cells grow and spread and the acne just doesn't live there. It can't live there. It's impossible. So I know I've said the same thing over and over a couple times in this video, but it's really important that you understand that the environment your skin cells are in is either an acne prone environment or a clear skin environment. And when your skin cells and your body is in a, in a nutritious, healthy, alkaline state, acne cannot live in that environment. So you need to understand health and skin health in order to really get rid of your acne. Uh, and you treat it both internally and externally with whatever comes into contact with your body, whether internally or externally, because that can and will cause more acne. So uh, that's it for this video, guys. This is David Skin King from AcneEracingSecrets.com. We're clearing the acne of the world 1% at a time, starting with you. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. There's a lot of videos to help you out, to help you get rid of acne. A lot of advice. I spent five years learning and getting rid of my acne personally, so I know they can help you out. Uh, and also, be sure to click the link to visit my website below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment, and like this video and visit the site, and all that good stuff. So, be sure to do those things, and have an awesome rest of the day, guys. Uh, take care. Bye.